The Santa Lucia Christmas Market is Barcelona's oldest such fair, celebrating its 233rd edition this year. But like everything else going on amid the pandemic, there are extra safety precautions in place just to make sure that the event can go ahead, even if it does look a little bit different this year. Among the safety measures is guaranteeing 2.5 square metres of space for every shopper. As such, there are controlled entrances and exits at either end of the market to enforce capacity limits. There are fewer than half of the amount of stalls here as normal, 133 this year down from 280 last year. As a result, and given the fact that sellers have to cover a certain amount of fixed expenses, it is now costing each vendor more money just to be present at this year's Santa Lucia. Because we don't know how it will go, we need to bring a lot of people. And it's supposed to be that this year it will be more cheap. Here there are fixed expenses that are very big, which are spread between the more famous parades that are this year. Some of the stalls also have these extra protective plastic coverings, adding an extra layer of safety. As always, Caganeres are a huge hit, with one of the country's biggest sellers returning again with five stalls this year. One of the most beloved Catalan Christmas traditions, Caganeres are small, defecating figurines that usually appear in the nativity scene, and in recent times have become a highlight of the December holidays, with many famous faces and characters being honoured with their own Caganer. Naturally enough, some of the biggest sellers this year have been those donning face masks. And at the fair, shoppers can also of course find special decorations for the home, cagatillos so children can get their presents, as well as Christmas trees and other festive plants. Unlike many markets seen in Central Europe, however, there will be no food or drink served. Regardless, this year's Santa Lucia market is open every day until December 23rd.